Welcome back. This is a video series using Excel to do various things with statistics, charting, summary tables, etc. This data uh, is female body data that came from the National Center for Health Statistics. What we're going to do is we're going to create a scatter plot of age and pulse rate. So we're going to try to determine if there's a relationship through using a scatter plot. Uh, of whether age and pulse have something to do with each other. The first thing I'm going to do is take a look at the age and pulse, gather up, highlight that data, copy it over to a new sheet. I like to do this just to organize it, to make it simple, leave room over here to the right for the scatter plot as well. The fact that I've got these highlighted is useful. Uh, what I'm going to do is go up to Insert, go down here to Insert Scatter Plot. You always want your X on the left, the Y on the right. X is your horizontal, Y is your vertical when it comes to these charts. I'm going to pick the first one in the list. Okay, so we have age on the bottom, pulse rate up here on the vertical. So as you can see there's just a minor trend going downward uh, when we get older our pulse rate seems to go down. Uh, I'm going to create a trend line on here by right clicking on any of the plot points, picking add trend line, this pop-up over here comes up Two things that I really like to put on a scatter plot are the regression line equation and the R squared value. I'll tell you why in a minute. So I check box those, hit the X. You'll see that it did a couple things. It produced a, a line on the graph, but also some of these uh, equation and R squared value. I highlight that and drag it up here where I can read it. And first thing I want to do is look at the actual slope of that line. You'll see that it is negative. It's minus 0 0.3337. 3373. That means for every unit uh, that you move forward in age, one year, you're going to go down 0.3373 in the pulse rate. So it's a minor decrease really for every year that you're uh, on the age graph. Um, the regression line allows you to predict all kinds of values in here, new values. So what you want to be able to do then is take that equation and I'm going to mimic that equation for any given x and to come up with a y. So if I said I wanted to know what 43 was, or I could say 43 and a half, really doesn't matter. Then what we do is we mimic what's in the y equation by typing equal minus 0.3373 times, we're going to click on our x value, it puts in m9 there by itself, does that automatically. I'm going to put in plus sign 90.402, hit enter. Now I could actually type in anything in x and predict get a predicted y for that. That predicted y value is on the line. So that would be the prediction of the y that would be on that line. So this is really the value in doing a lot of the uh, uh, scatter plots is let Excel do the formula and the R squared value for you uh, and then you can also do predictions. The R squared value is showing you the strength of the relationship. Uh, 0.2074 uh, there is fairly low. Uh, what you want to see is up beyond the 0.65s, uh, 0.7s. Uh, to really consider it kind of a high uh, correlation. So this is called the uh, coefficient of determination, uh, R squared value, the formal name for it. And it explains 
how much of the variation in y, in this case pulse rate, is determined by the variation in the age. So it's uh, showing the strength of that relationship. There's also an r value, which is just a square root of this number, that is called the correlation coefficient. Uh, so both of these are really determining uh, the strength of the relationship. The slope shows the direction of the relationship. So this minus number in front of the x, that's the slope. This 90.402 number is officially called the y-intercept value. If we were to actually take that line and project it over to here, you know, we'd be right at 90.402 on the y-axis when x is 0. So I think you've got everything with regard to simple linear regression and scatter plots all in one lesson. Thank you very much, and don't forget to look at all the rest of the videos in the series.